This is Luis from Argon, and today we will be learning how to create new tokens for your organization and use them for governance. So here is my Argon client um, that I'm using in my desktop. And so I'm going to go to the ownership tab. And in the ownership tab, as you can see here, I already have, uh, you know, tokens for, for me. And so um, I have no tokens with vesting. I have all of the tokens vested here. And so I will create new tokens now, just for the sake of seeing how you can create tokens. So I only have a single class of tokens. Um, here we name it shares and stock, but in the end it's just tokens. So I'm going to create more tokens of this, this class of tokens. So I'm going to create, you know, 100. And so uh, how my organization works right now and how it works by default is that a voting must be created in order for you to issue new tokens. And so you can change that and we will see how to uh, change that, you know, later. But here I'll just proceed and create a voting. So this is MetaMask. I type my test password. And now I can sign the transaction. What's happening here is that I am signing that I am starting a voting. So that's why you see like voting pre out and then these characters that we need to sign. And now I need to confirm the transaction. And now the voting is being created. So now if we go to voting, you will see here there's voting for issuing 100 tokens, 100 uh, CVS tokens, which means the kind of, uh, you know, shares with the voting. And I have a full week to vote. So I'm going to go ahead and vote now. I'm going to, you know, approve it. And since I'm the only share holder or token holder of the organization, um, it will be automatically approved and I can execute the approval. So I click approve. Then I need to confirm that I'm approving the transaction using MetaMask, which is you know this wallet uh, we need for interacting with the blockchain with Ethereum. So I click confirm. You can always see the transaction uh, queue up here if there are multiple things that are happening. And and that's it. Uh, it's been it's been approved. So so now I have you know, I have more. Um, shares here, more tokens here that the company can assign to, to other people. And so we are going to go ahead and we are assign them because right now they are, they are unassigned. They are property of the organization. So let's assign them. Uh, I'm going to assign them to Jorge, for example. So that's Jorge. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and assign all of them. But I'm going to assign them with vesting. So uh, Jorge's cliff is going to start, you know, for example, next Monday, and the vesting is going to end at the end of the month. And so, in this, uh, in this case, I can automatically grant the stock. I don't need to like um, make a voting, so I will just go ahead and grant it. You can see here it's been granted. And now we have Jorge here who has 100 tokens. And since he has vesting, he will first get, you know, the tokens uh, gradually. So from here to four days, he will not have any token. Uh, that's the clip. And then afterwards, he starts getting more and more tokens until at the end of the month, he will have all his tokens. Um, so what I mentioned earlier is that you can customize how these things are uh, triggered, basically. So what I did was to issue uh, tokens. So right now, issuing tokens requires voting. But let, let's, let's change it. Let's say that only requires a um, user with the status executive. So now, uh, you know, basically, this is very important that you know the implications of your actions here because it changes how your organization works from a very deep level. And so now um, we're going to open a voting to change this bylaw, 
to change how the organization allows people to create um, and issue new tokens. So voting is new created now. And And here is. So we could like, you know, approve this. Um, again, I have a majority token holder, so we'll be able to just execute it afterwards. It will be approved and executed. Um, but of course, you need some, some time, you know, maybe for, by default it's a week for other people to be able to vote. And, and that's it now. If I want to assign or to bear set to issue and assign tokens, I only need to be a executive role. Roles can be set here. So in my case, you know, this is me. I'm an executive. Um, so that's it. You can easily create and assign tokens to people. And then uh, we also saw how to use these tokens to to vote. Also, there is another interesting feature, which is that different classes of tokens can have different rights. So we are going to add a new stock class that we are going to call, um, yeah, for example, uh, unicorn. And this unicorn uh, token will basically give the token holders um, a voting power of, let's say, zero and economic rights of 10. So this means that the guys that have this token will not be able to vote on any of the decisions, will not be able to exercise voting, but they will receive a lot of um, a lot of money, a lot of uh, dividends in case the, the organization is using it. Um, and so we are going to create just 10 of them. So creating a new uh, token class requires voting by our bylaws, by our how organization works right now. So we'll go ahead and create that voting again. Nice, so we are creating the voting. All right. Awesome. So here is uh, a new stock type, new token class, uh, and ECU 10 shares with that class. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to prove it. And that's it. Now you see that the company, the, the organization owns the unicorn stock and now you will be able to even assign that unicorn uh, token so I'm gonna assign all the unicorn tokens to me because I love unicorns well I don't actually love unicorns I think they are pretty much cheesy uh, but the good thing is that you can like customize the symbol of your token to be whatever you want, even emojis. Uh, that's not the only thing you can do. So yeah, I have uh, now the voting stock uh, token that I had in the beginning and this new token that we just created. So guys, this opens up a lot of different possibilities for, for creating different you know classes of, of token and to be able to uh, you know fine tune what they do and to you know give them to your organization members so for example you may have a token that has no economic rights and all it has is voting rights and that could be an awesome governance community token for example or you can create another one which is just with economic rights and then that could be great for getting investors in your organization or you know whatever uh, so that's kind of a walkthrough of how it works um, look forward to doing more walkthroughs and if you have any questions just go to argon.chat and ask them there thanks all for watching bye bye